Scholing began their Hampshire Cup campaign with a trip to Gosport Borough. Both teams find themselves second in their respective leagues. I spoke to both managers to find out their thoughts ahead of the game. The Hampshire Cup today, um, Scholing coming into this with quite a lot of form behind them. Um, does that worry you a little bit? We've, we've, we've got decent form as well, so I think it goes out the window. But both teams are going to play different teams anyway. You know, we're obviously second in our league. They're doing well in their league. You know, having a decent result the weekend. So both sides are in form. I just think it's, uh, as I say, speaking the day before, and I think he's making lots of changes. Same as me. You know, be a lot of youngsters out there playing today. So, you know, we, unfortunately, we are where we are. Both clubs, I think, we've got a few injuries and big games coming up next week or so. We don't want to risk anyone. Scholing coming into this one with quite a lot of form behind them. Um, it's a competition you've never won. How important would it be to get Scholing through to the next round? Yeah, it was nice you had that little, that's, little comment there. <laughs> yeah, we've been to the final three times and uh, we've come runners up on three occasions. So, yeah, I mean, you know, we come down tonight. Um, obviously, you know, we're disappointed with the amount of injuries which we've got at the moment. Six key, key players missing tonight. But um, no, it's bit, I said to the lads in there, it's about giving them opportunities and um, I understand uh, Gospel have made quite a few changes, apparently anyway, so um, you know, it'll be interesting to see how the game pans out. Both teams took part in a minute's applause in memory of Sophie Farrell, a young girl who recently lost her battle with cancer. I've included the family's fundraiser in the description. Gospel got this one underway from left to right. Scholing started lively as Joe Adams engineered some space before slotting in Claudio, whose ball across the box fell to Ryan Cluett, who wasn't able to find a teammate. Claudio showed some trickery before beating a defender and firing this shot just wide of the goal. Joe Adams' ball to the back post was just a tad too high for Nathan Gray and the keeper collected it easily. A good cross into the box for Borough but it didn't get the desired connection from the attacker. A lucky bounce off the defender allowed Jake Cope to beat his man and Cope cut the ball back for Gray whose cheeky effort was saved easily. Some really clever play from Borough outside the shoaling area allowed Jake Wright a chance to shoot but his effort was just wide. A mistake at the back allowed Theo Lewis a chance to strike from distance but his shot was always highly upright. Elliot Wheeler's run forward from right back gave Bradley Lethridge the ball on the right. His cross come shot looped over Luke Deacon and into the top corner. A lucky opener for the hosts. Lethridge looked lively as his run down the left gave him an opportunity to put the ball back, but the ball evaded everyone. Burrow were able to reset and almost managed to generate a chance before Wagstaff intervened. Leftbridge found Patrick Suraki at the edge of the area and saw his shot saved by Deacon. Jake Cope found Cloudy at the edge of the box and opted to shoot but his effort was well blocked by a defender. Burrow was searching for a second when Siraki's shot was stopped again by Deacon. Nice quick play for Scholing gave Cope a chance to shoot but was never testing the goalkeeper. Early in the second half this free kick from Jake Cope smashed the post and Josh China's rebound was adjudged to be offside by the linesman.
Marv McLean's cross almost found a Scholing player at the second attempt and after bouncing off two defenders from Wagstaff's cross, the ball fell to Joe Adams who was there to lash his volley into the back of the net. Game on. Leftbridge managed to cut in from the right and beat Marv McLean before sending this curling left-footed effort into the bottom corner from outside the area. Gosport immediately take the lead after Scholing's equaliser. Adam Pointer was fortunate to see the ball drop in his favour as he skipped past Mitch Byrne before being denied by Luke Deacon. It was Sir Archie's turn to take a shot on, but his tame attempt was straight at Deacon. Jake Cope found Joe Adams in the middle, who elected to shoot but fired high of the Gosport net. Sir Archie again found himself with the ball outside the Scholing penalty area. The striker managed to make space for himself before shooting wide. Sir Archie was desperate for a goal. He elected to shoot near post but was stopped again by Deacon. The ball wasn't cleared by Scholing and eventually fell to left bridge, but he got it all wrong. Lethbridge found himself through on goal before seeing his shot blocked by Mitch Byrne and then the rebound was well stopped by Luke Deegan. Full time as Gosport advanced to the next round. A spirited performance from a young showing side. I spoke to both managers to get their thoughts on the result. A uh, spirited performance by a fairly young showling side. Uh, how did you see that performance? Yeah, it was excellent. Very pleased. You know, obviously not pleased with the result, but um, yeah, I mean, with the you know the lads came in and uh, they all did a job. Uh, some good shifts today. Um, <clears throat> I thought it was quite an even game, to be honest with you. Um, we got back into the game, but they scored too soon afterwards to you know to sort of make it count basically. But uh, no, very pleased. You know, because before the game, I would have taken two one to be honest with you, because uh, I said there was a lot of changes. Etc. But um, the, the, you know, the youngsters come in and did really well. Excellent. Very pleased. Uh, through to the next round, what, what do you reckon about that performance from your side? It was bitty. I mean, it's, it's a performance you probably expect when you chuck 11 players together that play week in, week out together. You know, a few young lads, a couple of senior boys in there. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, it's a tightish game. I mean, I thought we at the end we edged it with chances maybe, but, you know, it was one of those, you know, whoever got their goals. Um, you know, we scored a couple of good goals. You scored a very good goal. Um, you know, I know Dave Sides always going to give you a good game. You know, I thought there's you know some good performances from both sets of players out there. So um, pleased to get through. Obviously, I don't ever want to lose a football match. Um, but um, yeah, you know, good game. Some good minutes into people that needed them from for you know Theo Lewis for me, 90 minutes under his belt, Pat Saracci. So yeah, no, it was uh, it served the purpose.